What's going on everybody? It's Ivan Art and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new tutorial about turning your 808s into sub basses which will give you way more control over your 808s and can help you do glides and all that other crazy shit. You can do this with any 808, any, any, anything really. So I'm going to show you right now. But first, I just want to say thank you to every each and every one of you that watched the life hacks video and saw help in it in under 12 hours you guys hit one uh, 10 10 000 views and 1k likes and it's about to it's about to hit 20 20 000 views so i just want to say thank you guys you guys made my fucking on all different social media platforms you guys made my fucking dms and shit um like rest in peace mode so i just want to say thank you um I'm gonna bring way more tutorials, way more game, tons of shit. So yeah. Um, today's tutorial though was inspired by two different songs. The first song being Bryson Tiller's "Just Another Interlude," and the second song is actually inspired by "Goosebumps" by Travis Scott. Now, just to give a little backstory, um. And I'm not trying to sound like an old nigga or whatever. Um, but uh, when I was in high school, um, it was about like, what, over seven years? Yeah, over seven years ago. I remember listening to SoundClick producers and discovering SoundClick and hearing a certain sound. And I came across a producer, which we all know, that had a certain way he did 808s. Now, the person that pioneered this thing was Johnny Giuliano and... It made 808 sound kind of sound like a moog if you catch my drift but i'm going to show you how to do that so what you're going to want to do is get whatever 808 that you you're using right i have the three most basic 808s that are in any anybody's pack this shit that's always been here then i got you know this one which is in the cardiac kit and then the spins 808 so what you're going to do Let's get your 808, right click, hit edit, pull it into Edison. Now I'm going to bring this up so you guys can see. You're going to want to go all the way down here, go to snap, then go all the way over here to this snap and hit zero crossing. Now what zero crossing is, is on every wave, there's a positive and a negative value. And in the middle is a zero value where you see this line. Now, when you chop samples or any chops, a lot of times you'll hear a click and a pop. It's because this, this right here, half of this is trying to loop into half of this. And of course, it's going to click and pop. It's not going to go as smoothly. So what zero crossing does is it goes to that middle value. You could even do it on here as well on the actual playlist. Um, zero crossing. So what you're gonna want to do, like I said, go to snap, go to snap to zero crossing, and make sure this is on. So just grab any point. And boom. Super simple. Now, what I did was I made this loop right here. Now, it sounds weird right now, but it's going to sound better. Trust me. Um, a thing with this is you're going to want, in whatever 808 or whatever um, sound you use, you're going to want to make sure that these are up with this, or they're the same number as this. So here, it's one, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. If I did five, it'll sound weird. You can hear that. You can hear the little clicks and pops, but one, two, three, four, it's four, my bad. I don't know how to count today, 
But if I make this four, even with this one, then it'll sound better. All right. So after you got your selection, you could do this in any part of the 808. Um, but after you got your selection, go up here to this ABC flag tab and click set loop. Now, after that, drag it into the playlist or into the step sequencer. Leave the loop points on. You don't want to touch. If you want to, if you want this effect to work or this technique to work, leave the use loop points on. So what I'm going to do is cut this really fast. Turn the porto, turn the max, up, the poly up, and turn the porto, portamento on. Right click, and go to one step. Now pay attention to this. Pay attention to the keys. We'll actually have it on transpose mode. Okay. See how long I'm holding it? If I unclick the use loop points, I'm still holding it, but you don't hear a sound. It's just like a one shot. So click loop, use loose points. Yeah, use loop points. And then you could even turn mono on and Actually, I'm going to use some uh, distortion really fast, just so you can hear it. Well, easy. It's that simple. You can do all sorts of things and even um, control it. And this, you know, it can, if you have the loop points on, you can just control it like as if it's in this inst tab, this instrument properties tab. Now, let's try it with a different 808. So, you click a random selection. Boom. Let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. All right. Regions, flag tab, loop point. You can even drag this little part too to have it as its own thing. Like. like using one hand so if that sounds horrible excuse me I'm like not even really trying to like plan anything but as you can see this is this is being looped which comes from this and it's basically like as if you were in a synthesizer making your own 808 or making your own bass so here's what it looks like here's what it looks like with this I'm going to pull up limiter default so that way you can see what it looks like. Do you see that? I'm still holding my finger down on it. Now if I use the loop points off. It's a one shot, but... Easy. And this is actually what um, was used in Goosebumps and just another in Lute. Um, so free plug. Um, spins 808. Another example. I know in the uh, the J plat platinum uh, platinum pack. Um, I think one or two. He did the same thing on uh, this type of 808. But um, 
just to even show you. You could even use one, like just have it as one, and it'll still work. So boom, just to show you. Okay, and click that. And so you can do all sorts of things and, you know, control it even more, you know. Um, it's, it's honestly, it's very dope to see that, you know, that the music that I was hearing on SoundClick, you know, with all these glides and shit, is the sound of today. You know, that's, I think that shit's fire, you know, and that shows, you know, that if you use what you have and you know the tools, you can create high quality shit. And you can even, you can create, you can create your, you can create your own wave. So take these tips and, you know, just run with them. And man, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the IMR channel in the comments. Let me know what you would like to see and what what was a song? Okay, yeah. What was a song that you guys heard that inspired you or an album? It could be a song or an album that inspired you to say, you know what? I could fucking I could produce. I, I want to do this. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So, yeah.